Hello and welcome. I'm Mary and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to cut curtain bangs and regular bangs. Let's get started. All you need is a good pair of trimming shears and a flat comb or rat tail. To find the center of your head, you need to use preferably a rat tail comb or something like this. So you want your comb to lay flat, not be down like this. So you keep going further back until you find the center. The tail of the comb should be straight ahead, just like that. And there is the center right there. But you don't have to part it there. You could go a little further in the front if you don't want too much hair to be cut. So that's your preference. You can do either a little bit or further in the center. And we're going to be cutting right by the chin straight ahead. Now we're going to center part the hair just like that and take a little more hair on the sides and we're going to go at an angle going to cut at an angle just like that All right. right at an angle and the same thing on the other side Remember, this is your guide, the hair that you cut it's at an angle again. And there you have your curtain bangs. shorter bangs. I've had the current bangs and I really, I always had bangs most of my life and uh, the past few years I've been letting my hair grow the same length or I've been getting current bangs. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little more of the shorter look, shorter bangs. So what I'm going to do is center it and, and part and take a little more hair from the center on each side. For thicker bangs, you could part your hair further back like this in a triangle shape. but I don't really want thick bangs and you don't want really short bangs either um, they just don't look good unless you're like young, real young you know, they're, if you're 
they're good for children but when you get older you don't want to cut your bangs above your eyebrows or up to here it's just my opinion it just doesn't look right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it underneath my nose right underneath I don't want them too short right there and we want a feathered look so you want to cut vertically take that hair and you cut vertically so you get that feathered look okay vertically and it looks like it's snowing all right All right, so that's what the look I was going for. Uh, so you could even part your hair to the side, center, and um, you could style it this way. Put a few butterfly clips. that if you don't want your bangs to look like bangs you go ahead and you use some shea butter and you just you're back to the same thing it looks like your hair is straight like it's all the same length right Give it a little twirl on the sides. And you can't even tell that you have bangs. You know, if you get tired of the look or you want to switch around, you know, you could do that, you know? Or you can just enjoy them. All right, so I hope you all have. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good time, and see you soon.